Hello, hello, hey, sweet people. Just a quick note before we get started with the show today. Sound School, our conversation and pronunciation course, is open for business, open for new students. Today, when I'm recording this, is January 28th, 2021. So it's open for the rest of the weekend. We only have a few spots left, so we are going to play... A few episodes that we recorded last year that really explain what Sound School is, why we created it, and who it's for, how it will help you with your English. So if you are interested in improving your English, which I imagine that you are because you're listening to this, check out the episodes today. You can learn more about Sound School at inglesnoycrew.com. And that's it. We will get on with the show after a quick word from our sponsors. Hello, hello! Você ainda pode testar o Cambly com o nosso código inglês no Icru Podcast lá no cambly.com ou no aplicativo do Cambly. O aplicativo do Cambly é muito bacana porque você pode pegar o seu celular, né? Seu smartphone, entrar Colocar lá o nosso cupom direitinho e escolher um professor que esteja disponível na sua hora do almoço, em qualquer momento. E também você pode filtrar o tipo de assunto que você quer. Por exemplo, um business em inglês, você está se preparando para uma reunião, é, alguma coisa internacional, super importante, vai lá, treina um pouquinho antes de começar essa reunião, que vai valer muito, muito a pena. Então não se esqueça, em Cambly.com ou aplicativo do Cambly, inglês no Icru Podcast é o nosso código. E é isso. Agora é só aproveitar e depois me contar o que, que você achou, tá bom? Now, on with the show! Hello, hello, hey, sweet people. It is Foster from Inglês no Icru. I am still suffering from some sort of weird injury, so my voice is not... 100%, I have to breathe very slowly. So, Alexia, let's take it away. <laughs> so, last episode, I said bear with me. You it, said bear with us. Yes, with us. Yeah, I wanted to comment on that, but I did not want to take away from your beautiful intro. So, was it correct? Yeah, bear with us. Yes, and I want you to explain what this means because... Aguenta aí, gente. Exatamente. I learned that Fast. on Instagram. You learned that on Instagram? Yeah. After more than four <laughs> years with me? <laughs> What can I do? Uh, Instagram is a way of learning as well. Not my way, but that's cool. <laughs> so, today we are continuing talking about motivation. Yes. So, yesterday on the show, we talked, at least I tried to talk about, through some stabbing pains in my chest, the confluence, the combination of motivation, discipline, and some sort of circumstances or situations, and that is the magic formula for success in language learning. So motivation is not enough. You need a combination of discipline, routine, and good situations, right? Yes, right. So you always say here and talk to all your students about my English learning, how did I, how I learn English and everything like that. But I, today... I uh, never make comments about your English on the show. No. <laughs> really? Never? Okay. So today I want to talk about your Portuguese process of learning. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yes. So, Foster, why did you start? What's up? <laughs> Why did I start learning Portuguese? Yeah. Um, I started as part of my master's program that I was doing a master's technically in international business, kind of international relations. And part of the program, you had to learn another language. And with this part of the program, it was supposed to be a language that you did not previously know. And I already spoke Spanish at this time in my life. This was maybe seven years ago now. And one of the options was to learn Portuguese to spend a year in Rio de Janeiro. And I said, that sounds cool. Yeah, so... That's it. 
<laughs> <laughs> Your motivation at that moment was just to travel to Brazil and go to Rio and spend kind time of. there? Kind of. So I have a confession to make live on air. Do I know? English no Rio confessionals. Oh my God. No, it's not that huh. deep. You definitely probably know this. So when people ask me, how long did it take you to learn Portuguese? Normally I say four months and people are like, whoa, <laughs> you must be awesome at languages. Which you are. Which I am. <laughs> and I'm special and you're not. That's why I'm on the microphone and that no, that's not true. No one is awesome. Some people are good with languages, but that's not the thing here right now. <laughs> So, in reality, it took me more or less four months to learn Portuguese to a conversational level, more or less the way that I speak Portuguese now. Nowadays, I speak it much more in a much more refined way, perhaps, but I was speaking confidently in four months. But what I don't tell people about that situation, so first, before I went to Portugal, to Brazil, sorry, For like six weeks, I was taking intensive Portuguese classes in the United States. And my teacher was actually a Spanish teacher. And this was the first time that he taught Portuguese. He really didn't know what he was doing. But we had classes every day. I was with other people. And they were all traveling to Brazil in six weeks as well. So we were all super motivated. So during class, I was really paying attention. At night, I was always watching Brazilian movies. I had no idea what they were saying. I was listening to Brazilian music all of the time. And then I arrived in Rio, still really had no idea what people were saying. But then it was the perfect combination of, I was super motivated. I knew I was going to spend one year in Rio. I had to learn how to talk to people. I was very disciplined because I was still taking classes in Rio at Puki, and I had classes every day. And then after classes, I was on the streets talking to people Filho every da Puki. day. Puki. Puki, Filho da Puki. And then finally, the situation was perfect because I really didn't have any place to hide. I didn't have many English-speaking friends. So it was the perfect combination. It's that secret sauce. <laughs> So, if you had to turn the secret sauce in adjectives or ways of describing it, it would be motivation plus necessity and discipline. Yeah, more or less. That's what I think the three keys are that we're kind of getting to. And if I think about my own story, I think another way of describing motivation is an extended or a long period of interest. So I was really interested in Brazil and the idea of living in Brazil. Then I was really, really interested in Brazilian music and film. And very quickly, I recognized Alexia's pointing to herself. <laughs> That was much later in the story. I know. <laughs> But very quickly, I realized, okay, this is not like a one month thing that I'm just like really hyped about. It's very much like this is going to be a long-term interest. Alexi is going to sneeze. Para de Sai fazer isso. isso. Coisa estranha. Ai, this is horrible. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yeah, so motivation is long-term interest is what I was saying. Yeah, because when I compare my story with learning English when you were learning Portuguese is completely different. First of all, I wasn't... Hey, hey. What? We're going to talk about your story tomorrow. One second. Okay. Okay, we are talking about it tomorrow, so I won't do it right now. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, you asked about my three parts of, motive okay. of my story. I was still on part one. Meu Deus. Okay, so what's part two? You said motivation, necessity, and situation or something no, like that. No, discipline. Yeah, I would say motivation, discipline, and situation. So, number one, super motivated because I recognized I was going to love Brazil, Brazilian cultures, and Portuguese for a long, long time. Long-term motivation. Number and you wouldn't think about Portugal at all, right? Only Brazil. 
yeah, at that point in my life, I was traveling to Brazil. I was in Brazil. I was thinking about Brazil. Yeah. And number two, I was very disciplined because for, on one hand, I was in a graduate program that was quite competitive and I was not very good at the business part. So I knew that, okay, everyone's going to know I'm an idiot unless I really am good at the language part. So I focused on that. I was very disciplined and was studying all the time. Number three, I was in Brazil. So yeah. the and situation you had a- kind of you know, necessity is the, how do we say that in English? The key. Yeah, but we say something like necessity breeds innovation. I have no something idea. something like that. I can't remember. But you had a cool roommate, Pablo, that would teach you like all the slang and how to talk informal and formal sometimes. Yeah. My first roommate is super, super chill. Chill, bro. <laughs> Carioca. Carioca. Carioca da Gema. So I think when I met Alexia, I was speaking essentially an imitated version of Pablo. Like, yeah, you gotta, gotta, gotta stop for the sound. I can't do it right now. I can't laugh because of the pain in my chest, but yeah. Yeah. Because we always talk about the importance of talking to native speaking, speak, speakers, sorry. Mm-hmm. And you had a lot of that in Rio when you were, Taking classes and going to Puki and not spending that much time with your American friends, right? Because you stayed longer than they did. Yeah. Yeah. I was pretty much convinced that I needed to speak as much as possible. I was really, really into the sounds and the music, which naturally evolved into sound school. And a big reason that we're talking about motivation is... This was maybe somewhat by accident, but also now that we are seeing it more and more with our students in sound school, we are really trying to create this triple combination of motivation, discipline, and situation that really helps you learn a language effectively. We're trying to create that in a course. Mm -hmm. And I think the motivation aspect of having, of working with you and me, And seeing your improvement over time and making progress, the discipline of having lessons every day, and then the situation of learning a completely new way to learn English by focusing on the sounds and investing money and time in a course, that's a really powerful combination that I think is a good combination for success. Yes, it is. However you define success. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. So do you have any words of wisdom or things that you would like to say to our students in terms of advice? Well, I have another testimonial from another student of ours. Another testimonial from (laughs) Urkuchi. Can I give you a quick correction? Uh Uh-huh. When you say the word another, I'm hearing another. I knew it. Another. Another. Yeah. Yeah. So, Vanessa... Brother from a different mother. <laughs> it's a good schwa phrase to practice. Yeah. Brother from a different mother. We are not getting into that right now. Please. All right. Cool. Okay. So, Vanessa, our student, we were exchanging mails and, and then the last email <laughs> that she sent me, she said... Hey, Vanessa. Can I <laughs> say one thing really quick? Uh-huh. I'm a little bit confused why all our students send you these super sweet messages. Is that because I'm intimidating and like mean as a teacher? No, because I always tell them to send me emails and then I'll send you because you get very confused with all the emails as you yeah. don't deal very well. Yeah, with I don't your really inbox. respond to emails or text messages. True. Cool. Okay, okay. don't okay. get jealous. I'm not jealous. They love you as well. Okay, what's up, <laughs> Vanessa? What'd she say? So, Vanessa said. Acabei de ser parada no aeroporto de Natal por uma senhora americana pedindo informação. Alexia knows that situation. Oh, yeah. Consegui consegui entender claramente e respondi direitinho e ainda ajudei ela. Ela botou uma smiley face. 
Próximo. Parece bobo, mas fiquei tão feliz. Há um tempo atrás ia travar e não conseguiria falar nada. Escutar vocês fazer o curso tem sido muito motivador. Tem me feito gostar de novo do inglês e ter vontade de aprender mais e mais. Só tenho que perder a vergonha e a insegurança de começar a falar com nativos pelo Cambly. Feliz, feliz. Obrigada. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, well, she was talking about Cambly here because all the students from Sound School, they have 50% off with Cambly. And I was talking about it with her because she was asking me what she could do to improve much more her English. And that's it. So she already did a very, very cool thing that it's having that surprise moment that an American person stop, stops you and asks for information. Yeah. And then you have to do it. Like, you can't look at this person and say, no, 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 no. <laughs> If yeah. you know English, you just do it. I think it's funny and not funny, but very curious and interesting that a lot of these messages we see, we receive from our students saying like, thank you. Everything's going so well. I'm so happy. We only receive those messages after they have these weird situations where they meet someone speaking in English And they recognize, holy shit, all of this work and stuff I've been doing, it's really paying off. It's the realization moment. And that's so much important. That's, I, I think that, that's so, the most, important. so important. I think that's the most important part of yeah. everything. It's the aha moment. The epiphany. <laughs> okay. Do you know that word? Aha, uh -huh, no, but epiphany, of course. The aha, like, aha, that's the brilliant idea. The okay. light bulb moment. You know, the light bulb yeah. goes on. Yeah. Yeah, we need to think of a better way to describe that because that's a very important moment. And talking about me and I think Foster as well, I think this is the realization moment for us as well. Like, okay, we are doing a pretty good job with the students and they are really improving and we are so happy about it because it makes all our days much better. It makes Foster comes here during a pain moment and record episodes for you guys and that's it i yeah. think that's nothing better as a good feedback even the worst feedbacks as well like it makes you grow but this kind of feedback is amazing so thank you guys thank you our students thanks everyone yeah thank you very much i am very motivated to record this podcast every day but i promise it's not just because i like sitting in front of a microphone talking about random stuff <laughs> It's because of stories like Vanessa's, comments like Paula's, and just really seeing that there is actually some transform transformational change that we are creating in people's lives. It's beautiful. Anyway, I need to go lay down on the bed, so we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do Inglês de Necro Rádio. É muito bom ter você juntinho assim de nós. Faz muito, muito carinho no nosso coração, digamos assim. Então você que está interessado em saber mais sobre os nossos produtos e saber mais sobre a gente, o que, que a gente oferece para vocês em relação a estudo, a challenge a curso, vá lá no inglêsdenecro.com e você pode ver mais sobre as worksheets, por exemplo. Sim. Yeah. If you want to really improve your English, if you want to learn more about the ways you can do that and just connect with us on a deeper level, go to inglesnewcrew.com. And as always, keep up the good fight. And lose well. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.